What's up guys? It's Bill from Hollow Models RC. Uh, today I have my 3D printed Sportster. Uh, this one I printed out of Sane Smart Active Filming Lightweight PLA. I have a 2836 motor in it and a 2200 4S battery. Uh, I'll leave a, just a link in the description for links to other flight videos and also where you can download this airplane to print on Colts3D.com. This will be my second flight with this specific Sportster. Cut off. Did that last time too, I wanted to turn left. It's going up a little bit, trim it down. So this thing's got plenty of power. Um, I have a 10 inch prop on there. I'd like to try to get some slow flight in today. You know, that's what this airplane's really good at. It's, it's a little gusty sometimes, but it's not as windy as the last time I flew this thing. So. Definitely flies slow. I'll try to bring it in closer. I wanted to trim it. I think the weight on this one's like 850 or 880 grams, all up weight with the battery, which is pretty amazing, actually. Oh, I love it! This thing will fly on 3S, no problem. It's just for the first couple of flights, I wanted to. Make sure I have extra power. If I can't get another slow pass again. See the nose a little crunched up. Just for me banging it around on accident. So I also have this model with me today. I have it printed out of uh, eSun, active foaming lightweight. And I also have it printed out of pre-foam. But unfortunately, I won't have the pre-foam flight videos because my ESC and motor that I want to put in it didn't come in time, in time which is a uh, 30, 30, 3542. 1000 kv is what i'm going to put in the pre-foam because i wanted to try it on a 12 inch prop and like i said this one has a 10 inch prop on it this is definitely like a, a trainer airplane Add some rudder trim there. I do have offset built in, down and right. Uh, you can look at all the specs exactly on Colts3D.com. Oh, it's a little windy. It wants to keep going that way. I could probably get an eight minute flight out of this thing. I'm cruising around at like 30, 40% throttle. I'm not going to get crazy with it yet. Um, this one, actually, the tail, I, I had to do some some fixing, added some more structure to the tail. Uh, the stab on this one was moving a little bit. Um, so I did fix it. In the new model and the new G codes and everything, it's completely fixed. Um, so I don't want to get too crazy with this one, just in case. Not yet anyway. Uh, I'll eventually get to the point where I'm gonna deliberately break these things in the air or see if I can, you know, full throttle on a dive and pull up as hard as I can, see if the tail will come off. 
Uh, the G-codes are made so that it prints as fast as possible is what I did. It's got a 0.3 layer height for most of the model. Um, except for the harder to print areas. Prints completely in base mode. Solid tops and bottoms. One wooden dowel is required. I was thinking about adding a file so you could 3D print a dowel if you wanted to and put it together and then put it in the wing. Um, I try to use as, the least amount of structure and PLA and printing as possible. That's why I put the dowel in. You know, I wanted it to print fast because 3D printed airplanes, they don't last very long usually. So I don't want to put all this time and money into printing something and it just doesn't last, you know. That's how they all are, unfortunately. Now this one, the print, it looks a little warped. Uh, that's because um, of the temperature that I printed this thing at, 252 degrees. Uh, the one kind of PLA does it a little more than the other, but it's okay. Try to bring it in here. I love it, it floats great. That's what I was shooting for with this model. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button or subscribe. Uh, my name's Bill from Hollow Models RC. You can find my work on Colts3.com. I'll leave a link in the description. And thank you for watching.